it's really not nice having to tell somebody that they have cancer. I'm a, a specialist nurse, so I do, do procedures, gastroscopies and colonoscopies, um, help diagnose um, different conditions relating to um, patient symptoms. I often diagnose colorectal cancer and um, gastric or esophageal cancer. Sitting there and, and so on, doing the same, telling us the same that they they think it's cancer. It's it's awful being in that in that situation. You, you never expect to be sat there hearing those words that you think that they've got cancer. Dad wanted everything, didn't he? He wanted it. He would have had surgery if he could have. He, yeah, he want. He really wanted to have surgery, yeah. didn't he? From day one, he just kept saying he wanted to see his grandchildren grow up. They were awful, truly awful. Um, because I knew my mum had to have surgery and my dad was really poorly, so I was worried about how to look after them both. I was very upset because at that point, John was very poor with his cancer and I was having to look after him and knowing that I was going to have to go through surgery because he told me that I had to have a full mastectomy and I just really didn't know how I was going to cope. But I should have had my operation on the 19th of August but because John had deteriorated very quickly in the end, um, the surgeon rang me up and said, I think we'd better um, postpone this operation. And John actually died on the 14th of August. It was hard trying to grieve for my dad whilst taking care of my mum, um, making sure she was okay and worrying about her cancer as well at the same time. 